right, guys, we just got back from the vet with Oshi. He is in the cone of shame, but we don't have it on him now because he didn't fit in the truck with it on. This poor guy was crying when he saw us through the oh, cone. Baby. It's heartbreaking. Almost made me cry. He was heartbreaking. He was like, you guys left me here and they did things to me. I'm sorry I wasn't there when you so, woke up, baby. No I'm more. Uh, we'll give you the update here in a minute. We're going to let him get him down out of the truck, let him do his business, and then take him inside and try and keep uh, Reagan from uh, getting think, at his wound. So. I think he's still high. Uh, he, looks, he, he looks super chill right now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 poor baby. All right, we'll get him out of here and let him do his business. Hold on. Hey, Oshi. <laughs> Where are you going? Ooh, that was close. <laughs> Oshi. Where are you going, bud? As you can see, he's got a nice square cut out there. We'll give you, once we get him inside and get settled, we'll give you uh, the rundown and give you a better view. Go ahead and do your business, dude. We'll get out of your way. I still think, I'm definitely sure he's, he, he's probably still a little high. <laughs> he's still a little doped up. Look at this pitiful face. He's also on tramadol uh, for pain for the cut. So he's, he's kind of drifting off into happy, happy land right now. But uh, the doctor said we don't have to leave the cone on him all the time. Uh, we can actually put a t-shirt on him. <laughs> Why are you so happy all of a sudden? <laughs> so we're actually just gonna take that cone off because you don't like it. It's so funny in the parking lot when we brought him out, he uh, couldn't see so he didn't know where the heck he was going and he was kind of walking in circles. And then when we got him in the truck, we had to take it off because he got into the back of the truck and he was standing on the seat and he couldn't turn around. So I had to take it off because he was stuck up against the window. Poor guy, look at his face. Oh, sure, are you high right now, dude? <laughs> All right, so anyway, um, yeah, so we're just gonna put a t-shirt on. We're actually just gonna use one of the Life's Golden tank tops, put that on him so it covers the cut and can't get to it, and Reagan can't get to it. But, so let's talk about it. First of all, he's got a nice bandage, which actually we can take off now, because he was under. So he went in for um, dental work, a little cleaning, which they have to put him under for. <laughs> oh, she, you're so high right now. <laughs> Tramadol's good stuff, huh, bud? <laughs> Poor guy. So he went in, um, and uh, so he's shaved right here. Look at that. And uh, he went in for dental work, so they did everything at the same time so they wouldn't have to put him under multiple times. Um, so he's under for the dental work, and then he had the mask we were talking about removed from here. So he's got a nice 18 staples and a big patch of fur missing. Um, and that's out at the lab, and they're gonna check it out, and hopefully it's good news that it's just uh, a benign tumor, fatty cells or something. I'm really feeling good, Hosh. Huh? And then uh, he had his, the doc had uh, x-rays of his knees and his hips done. And so that's where the bad news for today is. So unfortunately, Oshi does have hip dysplasia and it looks like it's a uh, medium to severe case of it already. Um, I guess the vet that we went to last year and the one we went to back in North Carolina and had x-rays done, because we've had x-rays done a couple times, were not reading them properly or just didn't care to tell us the truth um, because we showed the vet today the x-rays um, that we got done last year and he said, no, you can definitely see it in those as well. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to start uh, really making sure Oshi doesn't jump or run too much and just gets good muscle strength and exercise like swimming and, and nice long walks and stuff in. Um, I think he's okay with that though. He likes being lazy anyways, especially right now when he's high. <laughs> um, and then also in his right knee. So I was partially right in the video yesterday. I said maybe we was thinking maybe it was his knee. They did, he did say that there's something going on with the knee, but it's nothing too serious yet. And without cutting into his knee and looking at it, you won't know exactly what it is. 
but he seems to think it might be a, a cruciate ligament, uh, possibly a slight tear. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that and figure out what we want to do moving forward. Um, feel bad because, I mean, we've had this stuff checked out in the past and we just weren't getting good information from the doctors. So we uh, greatly appreciate Dr. Nissan at uh, was it the Avocado Animal Hospital here in Fallbrook for taking care of our boy. So that's kind of the update for now. I'm sure there'll be plenty of funny footage of Oshi in the uh, collar of shame if we ever put it on, put it on him. I'm not sure we will. <laughs> I don't know. But we're going to let him rest. Uh, I know you all wanted an update, so there it is. Um, so once we find out what's up with that, that little tumor they took out or that little mass they took out, we'll, of course, let everybody know. Uh, thank you to everybody for all the well wishes and good karma and good vibes and prayers. We appreciate it. And I know Oshi appreciates it. Right, Oshi? And uh, we'll see you in the next video.